All right, what's happening, guys? We're back. And now we gotta make a decision here. It sounds fun on one hand, but on the other, I'm not gonna do it. Not that I don't want to teach the Deutsch a lesson, but I really don't have time. Well, that's disappointing. Still, we can manage without you. Let's go, lads. Honestly, hell. How could you pass a good chance like this? Do you guys let me know how it goes? I do want Pater Noster, qui es in service, sanctificato nomen tu, veniat regnum tu, fiat voluntas tua. There we go. Alright, so here's this the tavern. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> You too, handsome. What brings you here? We're gonna do this. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Thank you. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking <clears throat> after you. Manya. I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He Doesn't promised matter. to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that hmm. so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, savior your schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You what the hell is with the camera? Nice. Thank you. Um, each quest we take sleep. If you want to see the game, must drink the potion. Save your snaps. Huh. So I must get drunk to save my game, I guess. Alright, so where is this student? Oh, he said it over by the sheep, right? Pretty sure he said he was over here. Somewhere. Oh, I guess on the, on the map there it shows. I'll mark her over this way. I'm here at the pr train. Practice. Beat your ass. I want so, a fist fight, man. You can don't want to get started? Me. We can. We can. Good, and since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. 
Okay. Good, good. Let's try something else. Once All right. I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. And the main thing is to use what you've learnt in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. I am certain that is the truth. Is there still a marker over by this guy? Alright, blacksmith's boy, you got the better of me. Take what you want. But you haven't heard the last of this. Am I still supposed to find something of value from this guy? He has nothing. He literally has nothing. Can't do anything with that. Um. Eat your food. I don't know what those are still. Oh, I don't know. I don't care. I'm going back home. I have everything I need. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. I parted right. with Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sasal did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. 
Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Rudzig ordered it. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. Good. We'll fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. Maybe? Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody. Least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. I didn't even do it. I said no. Well, so you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts rumors. So what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. That's Remember, very true. Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, not your fists. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up. When I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. We'll see about that. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. That is a fine looking sword. It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. <laughs> I already got them. 
<laughs> I already have them. Here you go. Aren't you supposed done. to be getting nails for Teresa? Holy shit. I could have swore I already... Do you think we're short of nails? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, shut up. Oh jeez, you're an asshole. Here you go. I got them. I had them a long time ago. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That soil is truly for? beautiful. He's still talking shit to me and how he brought him. You hear that? You hear that shit? I don't even know what she said. Oh, I'm looking at that booty though. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. But you haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? Let try it. Thank you. Of course I'd like to try it. <laughs> you still have a lot to learn. <laughs> Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls, and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. Oh, I'm going to keep it. That's mine. Taking it and running. It's been an honor, say Svan. Have a safe journey to Sapa. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Oh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. <laughs> you have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. Messenger. He was in a hurry. 
What's happened? Some shit's happened, that's what. Stone Cold Steve Austin's here for revenge. Oh no. I need to know how to use that sword now. Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry, what about you? This is bad. I'll fetch her and follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Reddy. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. This is very bad. This is a mistake. <laughs> oh my god. Run by the moats! There's a path down there! Jump down from the wall and flee! <laughs> Looks like I do get to keep that sword. Well, interesting. Anyways, with that there, we're going to end this episode. We'll be with the next one, riding off and hopefully escaping any sort of trouble. We don't have any armor. Could be bad. Anyway, I will see.